King Charles has been pictured leaving his London home of Clarence House this afternoon as he returns to the capital for more cancer treatment. The king had been convalescing at his Norfolk home, Sandringham, and is believed to have travelled back to London on Tuesday. It comes after a Times article claiming Prince Harry had offered to return to a temporary royal role to support his father during his illness sparked a strong rebuke from the palace. Insiders have been keen to stress there is zero chance the Duke of Sussex will ever return to the royal fold. One source told the Mail the King is firmly of the opinion, there is no way back for the Duke of Sussex as a working royal in any way, shape or form. Prince Harry made headlines at the beginning of the month when he jetted back to London from Los Angeles upon hearing the news that his father had been diagnosed with cancer. It is understood that Harry was one of a small circle of close family members who were informed personally about the King's illness before an official statement was issued on February 5. However, the Duke was able to spend only 30 minutes with Charles at Clarence House, the first private meeting between father and son in several months. Shortly after their meeting, Charles took a helicopter to Sandringham to recuperate following his treatment, while Harry spent the night in a London hotel and flew back to California the next day. It could be the first step to a royal reconciliation for the king, but Prince William still has reportedly not forgiven his brother and is in agreement with Charles that Harry should not return to a royal role. While resting at his Norfolk estate, his majesty has been well enough to attend Sunday church services and has been trying to keep up with his working life as much as possible. He met Prime Minister Rishi Sunak earlier on Wednesday for their first in-person audience since news of his ill health broke. The king is still receiving his daily red boxes. So far, the monarch and PM have been holding their weekly meetings over the phone, after Downing Street disclosed that an agreement had been reached with Buckingham Palace. Mr. Sunak's official spokesman said on February 7, We don't in general and we are not going to get into the habit of commenting on the PM's conversations with the king. But we have agreed with the palace in this specific instance to confirm that they will be speaking on the phone later.